everyone. Welcome to November. Welcome to UC Davis. So excited to have you all here with us today. My name is Robert Penman. I'm the Executive Director of Undergraduate Admissions here at UC Davis. And um, you're a little new to Davis. I'm a little new to Davis. So it's really great to be here with you all. I'm a first generation college graduate of the University of California. So for all of you first generers out there who are thinking about putting your hat in the ring for UC Davis, we'd love to see you in that applicant pool this fall. Um, November 1st through 30th, it's the biggest month of the year for those of us in admissions, right? We, we are waiting for those applications to roll in. The biggest piece of advice that I, or biggest piece, biggest question I get, the number one question I get every single time I talk to a group of students is what do I do? How do, how do I stand out? What are you looking for in that application? And so I have two answers for you. I've got a short answer, which is not very helpful, which is we're, we're just wanting to get to know about you. And I know that sounds kind of, um, a little broad, maybe a little trite even. Um, the longer, more full answer is that we're looking for a few things. One, your academics. We want to know um, about you and the courses that you've taken. We want to see that you've challenged yourself hopefully in those courses and hopefully did well in those courses. Uh, we're looking at you in the context of your school environment, so we're going to know about the courses you've had available at your school and hope that you've taken well or good advantage of those. Um, the second thing we're going to look at is what you've done outside the classroom because we consider both of your achievements inside the classroom and outside the classroom. So we want to know what are, you, what are you doing with your time outside of the classroom. That can be so many different things. That can be a club, that can be sports, that can be student government, that might be activism in your community, that might be uh, a religious organization that you've been a part of, that might be competitions. It might be a part-time job. It might be a full-time job. It might be family responsibilities. Uh, what we're really looking to know is how you're spending your time inside and outside the classroom and, and, and what you're doing with, with your time. Uh, if you've taken on any leadership roles or won any awards, those are always good things for us to know as well. The last thing and probably the, the, the part that I consider to be um, the most difficult if, of the application is the personal insight questions. And this really is where we Try to get to know you the best and try to get to know you more. Um, it really is the piece of the application that ties everything else together. It ties your academics together. It ties your, your extracurricular activities together. Um, it's a space where you can tell us about your challenges, your triumphs, your achievements, your leadership, your creativity, your talents, your skills, and why you think you'd be a really great fit for the University of California. So. I know that's a long-winded answer, and I've probably already taken up the amount of time that they've given me today to, to tell you all that, um, but we really are looking to get to know you better as much as we can. Treat those PIQs like an interview, and you will be all set. So remember, applications are due by November 30th, 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you're in New York or if you're in New Mexico, that time may differ for you. Um, make sure that you get that in by 11.59 p.m. Go Ags!